on the last episode. Ooh, architecture. Found it! We found it! Oh, relic of history! That's so cool, man. It's like I'm, it's like I'm walking through time. Wow, Dutch fort, man. Dutch fort. That's cool. Freaking cannons and shit. Woo! It's so awesome because I'm actually a really, really big fan of history. If, if any of you guys have ever watched Dan Carlin's series on the internet, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History, man, that guy is an awesome, profound storyteller that I one day would like to aspire to. But here it is. Here we are at the Dutch fort, the remnants of the history of Malaysia from like 200, 300 years ago, 1600, something like that. I uh, believe the story goes that Malaysia was ruled by an assortment of kingdoms like the Malaccan Sultanate up until this very eventful year in 1511 when the Malaccan Sultanate was t taken over by the Portuguese. Now the Portuguese were just the first in a series of, of people that were taking over the islands and the, the local superpower in the area. Then it was the Dutch, then it was the English, and then for a while it was the French. No, 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 monsieur. It was the Japanese from 1942 to 45. And then in 1957, we got our independence. Malaysia, fuck yeah! I won't go up. You guys gotta go up. Oh man, it's so cool. I'm gonna go up there. This is so awesome. I'm jizzing in my nerd pants right now. My nerd boner right now. Oh, look at this fort. Piece of history. They would have used this fort as a command center. This is the command center to control, you know, passage into the mainland and stuff and whatnot. But this is it. Dutch fort. Awesome, awesome sauce all over. So like, we're looking out. <laughs> cool. Regiment will fire on my Whatever man, so here it is, Kota Belanda, also known as Dutch Fort. An artifact and relic of history. Beyond just science, I also like history. It's, it's really cool, the histoire, I mean, the story. It's our story, the story of everyone. So you're gonna hear me just like uh, do something that I'm capable of, but I don't. I mean, occasionally I demonstrate those skills, but I'm gonna read in Bahasa. Kota ini telah dibina oleh Belanda pada tahun 1670 untuk menyimpan biji timah yang diperoleh dari negeri Perak, rakyat tempatan yang tidak bersetuju dengan cara Belanda memperolehi tersebut telah membinasakan. Kota ini pada 69. Oh, so they destroyed it. In Belanda telah membinanya semula pada tahun 1743 dan menempatkan seramai 60 orang pengawalnya di sini hingga tahun 1748. Selepas dari tersebut, ianya tidak digunakan lagi. So, built in 1670, destroyed in 1690. Recreated in 1743, 60 men used to watch over this bay area, armed with their rifles. Well, no, their muskets. Pew pew pew. I'm firing my laser. So the fort went through a series of constructions, then the demol demolitions, and then reconstructions, and then they used it to patrol the area. That's the story. Au revoir. Bonjour, bonne soirée. Guys, I found Jesus. He lives on an island and he plays guitar. <laughs> <laughs>